R17 brings a lot of workflow improvements. One great addition to those are the new spline tools. This addition especially will make designers very happy. Creating and manipulating splines before 17 was always a bit of a hassle, and apart from really simple stuff, I always ended up creating the splines I needed in Illustrator and importing them back to Cinema. With R17 though, this has changed. Now it's as easy as creating them in any other graphics program. All the new things about the splines are located here or through the menu. Let's see the pen tool first. We can do almost everything inside this one tool. So to move a point, we just click on it. To switch between hard and soft tangents, all we need to do is double click the point or right click to bring up the contextual menu. To delete a point, we either bring up the menu again or just control click the point. To add a point, we just hit control while clicking on the spline and our point is added. One thing to notice are all the visual cues we get from the tool. For example, when we want to delete a point, we get a nice preview of what our spline will look like without that point. The same applies when we draw our spline. We get a nice feedback on how the spline will look like. Clicking and dragging on a part of the spline will adjust that section. If we want to break the tangents while we adjust the spline, we can do it easily by holding shift. Now, if we want to adjust the tangents, we just hover over and drag to the direction we want. It's a really simple and quick way to create our splines without having to switch between different tools or following a procedure that is different than the design programs we already know. If we want to refine and further adjust our splines, we have one more way of doing it, through the Splines Build tool. So, for example, if we want to smooth out our spline, we can just enable the Smooth option and adjust the slider to the intensity we want to. We of course have other options here, like Inflate, Random, or Project. And of course, we can combine all of these together. Of course, in some cases, it probably won't make sense, but we have the capability if we need to. Another addition is the Arc tool. Here we have a really simple way for creating arcs. We just create two points and then drag upwards or downwards to draw out our arc. We can further adjust things by hovering on different areas of our arc. And of course, we can continue adding more arcs. Finally, we also have some Boolean operations. We have the same options as the spline mask, so you can basically choose whatever method suits you best. The new spline tools are a great addition to R17. Everyone will definitely appreciate the ease of use, but designers will appreciate it even more.